Welcome to the city that blooms each summer with 2,000 crepe myrtle trees. Behind this screen of beautiful blooms, you'll find one of the best Italianate beauties in the city. Sitting high off the road, this stunning 19th century jewel takes your breath away at first glance. Lush landscaping that's only possible thanks to the year-round warm temperatures surrounds this beauty. Original windows have been meticulously restored and the corbels and fretwork that adorn the trim look like new. A faux bois front door leads into a breathtaking entryway, and the porch is graced with two of our favorite architectural features, box head windows. The gorgeous entry hall is dominated by a breathtaking staircase. This period light fixture, now electrified, would have originally been raised and lowered on a system of weights to allow for lighting its gas flame. Stunning ornamental plaster work surrounds the room and a massive medallion accents the light fixture. The medallion appears to potentially have been carved in place and would make it a rarity both in the city and the region. The side lights around the front door feature their original lattice pattern etched glass. It is never too late to start a new healthy habit in your life. Ritual is my new healthy habit. Ritual helps people fill the gaps in their diet, has no shady additives, fillers, colorants, 
The truth is I don't eat great and you probably don't either. So you need a supplement to get you all the nutrients that you need for a foundation of health. Ritual is vegan friendly. They're non-GMO, it's gluten-free, they're allergen-free. It basically, you know, checks all those boxes. There's no added sugar. It's the type of vitamin that you're looking for. I know there are a lot of vitamins out there that you could take, but why did we choose Ritual? I'll tell you why. First of all, they have 10 nutrients that fill all of the missing gaps in my diet, and they will ship to your home with free shipping. I never have to worry about it. They've got essentials for men and women so I can get mine, Lane can get hers. They come in the mail. You set up how often you wanna get them, and it makes it so easy for you. So go to ritual.com, that's R-I-T-U-A-L.com, slash R Nation 40 to get 40% off. Do it today. Every door in the home has had professional faux bois applied by a local artisan. Most windows on the first floor are 10 feet tall and all retain the original interior Cypress shutters. The walls are one foot thick, allowing the shutters to fold back into recesses. The front parlor features a marble fireplace, huge pocket doors, and interior shutters. Best of all, the ceiling is accented with a massive plaster medallion featuring Camellia japonica, one of the blooms for which Natchez has long been famous. Ceilings on the first floor are 13 feet high, 12 foot on the second floor. The enormous pocket doors open into the formal dining room. Its architectural features perfectly mirror those in the front parlor. The plaster medallion here shares the same theme as the plaster cornices that grace the entry, living, and dining room. All the fireplaces would have been coal burning and are no longer functional as such. On the opposite side of the central hall, we find unique double entry doors, a first we've seen in the city. These two, 
have been beautifully decorated with faux bois. The library holds ample shelving for books and another period marble fireplace. A more simple design is seen here, as this was meant to be a private space not open for public view. Canthus leaf motif medallion graces the ceiling and simple cornices frame the room. The first floor main suite feature custom cabinets with a gothic motif. The floors on the main bath and in the rear portion of the house are wood with stained diamond detailing. The original staircase was removed in the 1940s. The new handcrafted staircase has 21 steps leading to the upstairs hall, which opens onto the upper porch. The 
Carradine Merrill House, circa 1869, is a major Italianate house built in the grand style by Natchez merchant James Carradine. The house passed out of the builder's family about 1876. The property was purchased by Mrs. Charlotte Brandon Stanton Merrill in 1914 and remained in the family till 1996 as a boarding apartment house. It was during this period the house was inherited and occupied briefly by Vice Admiral Aaron Stanton Tip Merrill. Floors in the house are heart pine and have been screened, stained, and waxed to retain the appropriate patina.